ton of assists. He racked up big numbers in what was a really good performance. Can he carry it over tonight? We'll see, Kevin. Yeah, David and stretches, he was absolutely dominant. Greg, he'd love to match that performance tonight. This team needs his contributions. When he's right, he makes winning plays time and time again. Well, when you're coming off a game like he had, you know the difference tonight. They're going to load up against him. They're going to try to take him out of his rhythm early. Bully ball at its finest there. Carter Jr. brings a physical presence to this team. Pass to Towns. Now Culver. Porter pulls it in. Here's Boss. He's got 16. And then Carter with the dunk. I know you grew up with aspirations of someday getting into politics. Any current players who you could see maybe taking that same route? No doubt. There, there are several guys uh, in, in today's game. Uh, you know, Harrison Barnes has, has the polish, and I know he's had some thoughts that maybe going in that direction. Uh, teammates nicknamed Malcolm Brogdon the president for his stately demeanor and commitment to affecting change. I, I absolutely see him trying to... And so that's the end of the first half. It's the Bulls leading by 14. And with a big gap on the scoreboard, the second half begins with very different goals for these teams. One side trying to mount a comeback. One side trying to protect their lead. Boss has been sensational. And it's something that isn't his strength, but he's done a great job of finding the open man. Well, what he did was sustain it throughout the first half. He ran the offense to absolute perfection. And tipping off the second half, here's Jim Boylan's five. White and Levine on the wing. Arkin and Carter are up front, and it's Boss in at the point guard position. Well, defensively, to me, you've got to do a better job communicating once the screen comes. Pass to Culver. Here's Towns, defended by Carter. And it will go, and the Bulls lead is cut to just 11 points in the basket from Carl Anthony Towns. And this, to me, is important for Carl Anthony Towns. We know he has a terrific perimeter game, but I like to see him take charge on the interior first. Wow, wow, he got whacked on that one. Shouldn't be much debate there. For Chicago, they have been perfect at the line so far, albeit just two for two. And they've had really good numbers all season from the free throw line. And standing 6-7, Jared Culver with great positional size at that combo guard position. You know what, Greg? He has drawn some parallels to Harris LeBert with his frame. And obviously similar styles, too. Both guys very fluid off the dribble. And if you're just joining us, we've played over a minute here in the third. Outside, Russell. Side Towns off the mark there with the three point shot, and so it's Carter who brings the ball up for the Chicago Bulls. They led the game at one point by 20, and two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the content. That's on D'Angelo Russell. In the seventh pick of the 2018 draft, Carter Jr.'s potential is enticing. A bruising big man with a bright future ahead of him. First one at the line is good. Carter hits them both. Over a minute and a half into the third quarter of action. Russell passes to Culver. And here's Towns. Markinen pulls it in. Markinen's got four rebounds now tonight. Here's Boss, and he finishes nicely on the layup. Boss has got five points in the quarter. And of the last six baskets, five have come on the interior. This is just smash mouth physical basketball, guys. Russell finds Beasley. Back to Russell to stop the run. Gets the three-pointer to fall. Russell's got 14 points for the game. Their 